Really going Bows. down. Bows. 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 Yeah, we on boss talk one on one. Yeah, we gon' talk, we gon' have fun. We be on fire, we be lit lit. It's a unique hustle, big, big, big shit. Big shit, big shit, big shit. It's a unique hustle, nigga, big shit. Big shit, big shit, big shit. Name another podcast like this. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy E C E O, and I'm here with the lovely official Miss Jamaica. What's going on? Not, not my man. Girl. What's going on? I'm in the house. I got this hat on, man. You had, I got this hat on. Yeah, but, but you know y'all what? Y'all rocking them. I ain't, never, I ain't never wore no hat. Hold I on. ain't never wore no hat online like this, he man. He's trying to copy fedora? me. He's trying to copy. I had mine on first. Then yeah. all of a sudden he came out. Check it, man. Yeah. Where it is? He's trying to copy me. <laughs> Check it, man. I went in the closet, and this is what I found. It went with the Crowns 10. Check it, man. We got LD in the building, 300. Man, we here. Man, thank you so much, man, for coming, man. Oh, man, family. Man, hey, man, I ain't going to lie to you, man. When I, I got upset when I seen you on that with Kiki, and you ain't, uh, yeah, I didn't like that at all. Why you didn't like that? Because you supposed to come over here first. I don't uh, care who nobody is. Jealous. I got real jealous. I'm real passionate yeah, about the people man. I care about, man. Yeah, yeah. Say, man, man. so what's up with you, man? Everything. What brought this What brought this whole thing on, man? Y'all see us wearing the crowns uh, t-shirts man, today. So beautiful, Say, man, man. we How had to do it. How did you feel when you walked in and you saw that? Overwhelmed, overwhelmed. We did this for you. Yes, and I'm overwhelmed by that. Like, really overwhelmed just to see. And then your daughter. The whole uh, family. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, you know, I'm real. Don't do that. Save that for the end because that's tears. You know, you don't want me to go into that, you know, because I just... That's just real. Well, that's I, real love. I believe it's setting the bar. Guys, so you know what I mean? What? We got some too, right? Yeah, yeah. We got something else for him. Look at, look at, look at him. Yeah, we got What's a crown too. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, you oh, gonna yeah. make him cry oh, today? Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Work camera right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. It's like crazy, man. Just, <laughs> we got one for you. Oh, they gonna we love this in the hood. In the hood, these crowns here is the the one. So. Just to see this in this kind of way, man, I really appreciate y'all, bro. Say, man, it gotta really. be love, Family, man. man. It's just, it's, it's, it's really, don't do it right now because you're gonna have me really like, <laughs> <laughs> you know, and I already gotta go to a wedding later on, so I'm, <laughs> I'm finna be. Well, I just, I yeah. think we need to set the bar, and I think that's what, that's man. why I, I be thinking like that. Like, we gotta show love on another level, man. especially because you be in the streets, you be really out here doing yours, man. you be ha hand to hand, you know. Uh, getting it out there and, and I seen you in Houston and I really wasn't jealous I was proud more than anything yeah. I'm like my boy he back on another run so yeah. I gotta get tapped in yeah, that's man, what this platform you, for yeah, thank you thank you Key Key is he's family so all yeah. it, it's just all it, it's just everything that I'm able to do in this is just it's family yeah all the yeah. way around it's everywhere I go everybody that I deal with is genuine um, and it's 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 actually fun to be on this journey yeah meeting and having the kind of experiences that I have with the people that I have because uh, it, it's just organic and it's all just genuine. Hey, man, I, woo, and it's, huh, you know what? You know, and I'm just going and doing it and it's just a blessing that I'm able to, to do this and sustain myself and to have success. You what, know. What, what was, what, when, when it talks about Crown 10, what was different about this album than the rest of the one that you've already done before this? Um... Somebody, I was talking to somebody about that actually uh, a few days ago, and it was like, man, I'm so tuned. Somebody was telling me, like, I'm so tuned into your story. I'm trying to see what's next. I'm trying to, they caught into the, the audio of, like, everything that I done been through and, and where I'm at right now. They just want to know where you at. The the audio is going to tell you exactly what's happening at this moment. And um, I'm just excited that people care, you know. Yeah. They care enough to spend what they spend on it. That's like, it's, it's it's unheard of that somebody would pay you $55 for some music or $25 for yeah, some music. Yeah. It's just, it's not happening. You well, know? I can tell you right now, I'm getting my two or three today. Oh, man. For no, sure. No, no, yeah, no, yeah, no, I'm no. buying mine today. That's what I'm going to let y'all yeah. know. Boss Talk, don't you? We show up and show out every time. Bo and you know, uh, oh, I thought you, I don't know. No, no, Boss, Boss Talk, talk 101. Talk. He no, that's always, my guy right there. He always support. He's another he one. He told me Hills is coming. Mine yeah. coming. Monday, and I was like, like I'm like, Monday. he was like, they sold yeah. out, so you ain't getting one. I said, what, nigga? I said, that's man, you crazy. sold out, He was like, I When I say they sell out, and then you always have to keep 
about 20 or so for people that, you know, the games that happen sometimes with UPS post office. There'd be some games sometimes, and, you know, you got to have just a, you know, a little bit. But they go fast. How many did you have produced? Uh, a thousand. A thousand. And wow. They, they went that fast. Yeah. Wow. That's but, awesome. But that. But when I seen it, I seen the layout of it, man. Did you bring? It you looks brought, really so good. Let's see. Yeah. Let's get that layout, man. Cause this. Okay. This. No problem. Is that enough? Yeah. It there looks it is. awesome. There it is, right there, guys. I got to see that. Let's, man. Let me yeah. show it up to oh, the man. camera. Oh man. That's dope, man. Always. Always. I love the box. Yeah. Open it. Oh, oh, you got all kind of look goodies yeah. in there. And of course, we never re up. So oh yeah! Whatever, oh yeah! And Limited we, edition. Always, we never re up when it when an album is done. So we got what we got the lighter. Yeah. We got some cards. Yes. yes Let me see yes. how many cards do I? And get? look where the cards is from, as you can see. Ah. Uh, and I didn't think of that. Yeah. What is from? The picture is from on, what, this. Oh store. yeah, God. Yeah. That's what he put on there. Oh, you didn't think about it. It wasn't even me that, that selected that. I just sent a gang of pictures and they selected see. that and made that the cause. So wow. That's what I'm saying. You part of the journey. That's brother. it, man. And God, like, I can't yeah. believe it, man. So you talking I'm, about like man. everything that I done. They that just step to step. Store. Well, you got to think about it. Like I said, when we seen you and we seen you making another run for it, it was like, we got to get on, on board. Yeah. So I was like, baby, we got to get on board. We got to get him on here. We got to get do this. And man. I, I get excited, man. man. You know what I'm saying? Because you've been genuine, man. You stayed on the phone hours with me, educating me on certain mm -hmm. things that I wasn't aware of, really. Yeah. Some of the questions that I ask now. You even gave me the Michael Jackson thing to play with. Oh. Oh, I'm taking that to California, I Atlanta. Love and, well, I take Michael Cali. Jackson. Atlanta yeah. and Vegas. I've asked those questions. <laughs> <laughs> Say, they, you know, uh, the other day, a friend of mine uh, with no knowledge of what I had already been saying about the, you know, that. And I love Michael Jackson, <laughs> by the way. I want everybody to know that. But, um, yeah, so he he kind of put it out there. Shout out my boy, Burner. He put it out there and, and was like, uh, just on his own. Hey, man, uh, nobody could beat uh, Michael Jackson in the verses and all of that and I'm like here we go again and I tried to or, or I forgot how he started on it but he was just saying and I'm like bro they don't even play Michael Jackson at the at the barbecue no more at the mm. family reunion and all that and y'all know that and it's been like and it's there been like and it's been uh, like uh, that. it depends are, on which barbecue you go to some people to still today. blame not on, not on Crown some people are they today. playing R. Kelly at the family reunion at the barbecue? Step. Depends on which barbecue. Who's they barbecue? Playing, they playing something right. Step is getting played right. Yeah. Um. Uh. What else? Uh, no, it's the time. It's all the like the wobble. No, no, I'm all saying, of at, that sort of dance the song. What are yeah. they playing at the barbecue? R. At, Kelly. What else? Isley Brothers. And Frankie, Frankie Bell and Mays. Yeah. Frankie Bell and Mays is going to get played. You know? So... When we think about all of the great music that gets played, we must we must contend with the fact yeah. that Mr. Michael Jackson hasn't has not has not made a family reunion since, you know. You didn't take the uh the uh C D out of here. I did. I did. You did? It. I need to see it. I didn't get to see it. Oh, yeah. yeah. These things so are. So it's really on C D and it's on this I can never say what this is. What's that? That's a, uh, that's a flash drive. Flash, flash drive. drive. Mm -hmm. So you get the CD and the flash drive. You get the CD and the flash drive, and it's the total experience. And then you wow. place so, that in there. So how many more crowns are you deciding to do? Because this I is crowns ten. When are you going to stop and you're tired of crowns? Retired of crown. I don't. Yeah. You know, I had retired the crown. It was oh, crown had. seven was the first box set that it, that I that we did was supposed to be the the end of the crowns mm -hmm. or whatever. And I did two albums after that. Um, but why did you decide to come back with it and not just name it something else? I named the other two albums something else, uh, For Better or Worse and okay. Rather Rich Than Famous. Okay, so uh, why come back with the crowns? Ah, that popular demand. <laughs> them, people, them people like the everything that goes into what makes a crowns album. Um, there's elements to it. If if you if you especially if you go back to the first one and then go all the way up today, you'll know what it is that makes a Crowns album 
whether it just the different elements, whether it be Is it a story you're telling from it, one always, all the way up? It's always that a, joins together. It's the authenticity of the story, but it's also the um the elements like whether it be the gospel <sighs> choir, whether it be uh just different stuff that Lee does to it is is being made in a specific way. And it's just after you done it, I just know what a Crowns album sounds like. I what, just know. What, what, who, who are these lovely ladies on the on the on the front? That's here? actually uh, my mom and my aunt. Okay. Back in May, uh, you know, mm -hmm. my mom has passed. My okay. Aunt, my aunt is on there. Okay. Uh, and it's just a old picture that I found of they them in the choir. Wow. Uh, I forgot how I came across that picture, but it's a dope. Setting. I just you dope know picture. I take personal things and, and try to. Show mm -hmm. that picture and put that on the uh, cover, you know. Yeah, so my aunt Sandra, my mom. Which one my, is your mom? My mom, right over here to the right, far on the right, right there. Right there. And that's my aunt Sandra. And okay. then my my grandma, she's in the back back there. So you must have gotten your complexion from your daddy. Yeah. Cause your mama dark. Hey, I, my mama dark. My dad light. I look like my grandma and my my dad, and I look like everybody over there. Oh, okay. Wow. What did you get from your mama? Them? What did you get from your mama? My love for music. Well, you know, her and my dad, uh, definitely big love for music, but definitely my mother's heart, for sure, like in rage, anger, you know. Mm -hmm. that's how old I got were you her. when you lost her? Now, it's, uh, when I came home, and see, that's what I'm saying, these crowns tell this story. Right. Um, um, my first year out. Okay, um, so you had her for a very long time. I had her, but I was gone for a yeah. very long time. But when, but God gave him a clearance to when she, she didn't go nowhere till he came home. Right. Yeah. And that's the cold part, you know. People don't look at things from that perspective, you know. I, I and like, I was I there like, when she transitioned here in Dallas. Wow. I had my hands on him. I'm gonna tell what, you something. What about hospital? Uh, it was a place. It wasn't a hospital. It, it was like hospice. Yeah. Okay. Like they know you, and um, I had the opportunity to have my hands I on her. CD back. When okay. she when she when she passed, and that's, bro, that's, that's a blessing, man. That's a beautiful thing. I I wish more people would would treat that with the reverence that they should treat it. Cause man, like being with like having your hands and having the opportunity to pray on your mom, like as you know, she's making transition or whatever. That was dope. Like man. it was dope, and I I would love to be surrounded by loved ones. When I'm headed out the door, mm -hmm. and and my children can have their hands on me, praying for me, and send me out. It gives on. you sort of closure. You yeah. know wow. what I mean? Yeah. But you know, the funny thing is that in life, a lot of us human beings will never be satisfied, no matter what it is. People don't look at certain blessings. Mm -hmm. Just like I've always been raised where people say, you know, if I die, I want to die in my sleep because I don't want to, you know, have any pain. So people mm -hmm. say that. And when my father passed away, he passed away in his sleep. But my mom still sort of kind of had some feelings towards that because she was there beside him when, you know, sometimes when you sleep and you dream and so you sort of like shaking a little bit and mm -hmm. stuff like that. So she said he was doing that. And she said to him, um, baby, wake up, wake up, you know, because she thought he was just having a dream. And when she turned over, she realized that it's like he was gasping for air and he was going off in his sleep. Mm. So a lot of people say, I want to go off in my sleep, but is that how you normally go off in your sleep or do you just sleep off? Nobody really just knows if you just, you know, because like I tell her, at least he went off in his sleep, but she said she don't know if he was calling in for her in pain or something like that. So we as human beings always find something within that you think you'd find comfort to know that he went off in his sleep. Um... I'm Muslim, so mm -hmm. it's, we are taught that the day that you're going is going to be just like any other day, and uh, but it's your last day. And it, it's said in the Quran that when when they send the angels to remove their soul from their body, those who have inherited paradise, they say that it, it's like pouring water out of glass. That's how easily the spirit leaves the body, like water out of glass. And it said that if if maybe the, the answer is not the right answer, then it's a struggle for the because it's the ratcheting out of the mm. removal of the soul that causes there to be some some fight. But um yeah, I'm just one of those that I don't I live 
like today is just as good a day as tomorrow. If it's today, it's cool with me, you know, because he ain't gonna do it unless it's time. Mm-hmm. And when it, if it's if today is the day, it's just as good a day as trying to put it out for a hundred years. But um, we are also taught to uh, that a long life is preferable to a short one because it give you. Uh, more opportunities to do good deeds. And that's the blessing of a long life is that you can affect people in positive ways. But outside of that, if he say today, today is cool. Uh, Even in a short life, you especially can Especially after can all still... what y'all done done. <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm Crown filled. 10, man. It's, I'm filled. So man. If he's, take me filled. <laughs> take, take, when I'm filled up and it's good, yeah, right then and there. When I know yeah. I don't please you good enough, man, man let's See, go. See, that's why I posted something the other day, and I said, treat every day like it's your last. And people always run with that statement as in, I'm going to spend all this money, I'm going to do mm-hmm. this, I'm going to do... I'm like, I'm not talking about materialistic things. Treat it like it's your last, like, you know, your soul depends on it. You know Spiritual what I mean? Spiritual understanding is, understanding. is, is gone. It's, it's, there's, it's just, an, it's down to a minute, People, right. A portion of people that even have an understanding like that, like I keep looking at the the ones, and this is what I'm saying. This is what my music is. This is what they tune. They think they tuning in to hear me kill them up, everybody. But as as I just be real it's and open, yeah, they know they like man. It's it's something else that they getting, and it's sometimes it's not easy to explain. But coming from me, they more accepting of some some things, spiritual understanding. They ain't got it. Yeah, it's it's they some it's, a, it's some it. ministry in your music and yeah. and it's still and it's the reason like yeah. how they looking at things that happen to me as if I'm so thrilled to make it happen, but I'm not thinking of I pro. This is what I was just I had a lunch with a a, a friend of mine, my homeboy Slim, on Friday. We eat eat together every Friday after service or whatever, and uh, inside of the conversation we was talking about. Um, the way I'm gonna tell you the way people are really like there are people who are surprised when they friends cross them right they friends do something damn and they 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 say like how could this person have done this after all I had done for them Mm -hmm. or whatever well I'm the person who prioritizes God and after doing that I don't worry about no relationship mm-hmm. all my relationships is solid I don't have the friend betrayal story yeah I don't have it my best friend I got still got the same best friend from uh the age of 13 years old like serious I, everybody that I meet they coming it's always all good that's never my problem and I know that it comes as a result of prioritizing that relationship but when you don't prioritize that relationship, then somebody that you do prioritize, that's going to be the one to crush but you. Even when you prioritize that relationship, the devil is always going to find different means and ways of how to come at you. Yeah. Maybe not through your friends, but a different way. He always whatever, finds that. But whatever, once you know, whatever you struggle with. Once you, right. But once you know what it is, because mm-hmm. then when a person comes at you, it could be a stranger, comes at you in a wrong way, and you could have been having a bad day. If you can realize that it's not that person who's coming at you, it's the devil using them to come at you, then you know yeah. how to battle it. A lot of times people don't see things in the spiritual like what you say, and they think it's that person and then start fight, trying to fight that person when it's Praying not that person. Praying every day keeps you aware of what's happening. Mm-hmm. When people don't have a, a consistent, a regular prayer routine, then you get took off guard and then you have to try to decipher with your mind what is happening and sometimes you're going to get the wrong answer exactly doing it like that well let me ask you a question we're going to get into uh some uh, different things that's been going on uh in this world okay yeah um mm-hmm. Nas X, he was pregnant uh, last week a mm-hmm. week before last uh, i'm asking these questions yeah. because they're consistent to What's going on? Lil and, 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 Lil, now, Lil Nas, Nas X. X was pregnant, and before that, and for those for those who don't know who Lil Nas X is, which majority of people do, mm-hmm. it's a male. Yeah, yeah. So I, I was just trying to get your Lil, input. Lil, on. Okay, I, exactly. Lil Nas X is not very talented musically, so because there, I'm just being frank, he he doesn't have music that. 
there are other people who are homosexual, whether they be male or female in the music industry. Frank Ocean, Sam very Smith. More, very but talented. Their, but their talent level is high enough. They don't and they create that. music that we enjoy. So they don't got to put on no dress or act pregnant and all of this type of shit. With, with him, my thinking is that he has to create controversy to bring attention to the music because it's we don't have no you're not making no music that they're listening to. And even if they don't listen to the music, people are not listening. They, they're just sharing because they're outraged at what they see. They're sharing it and not realizing that the more you share it and the more you talk about it, he's making money off of more you. more outrage from a small group leads to big conversations between a lot of indifferent because I don't care. You know, well, let me, so let me. The, the, the reason I mean, by me understanding it from a musical promotion angle, it's like, oh, he's doing this. Right. Because I know that if your focus was the love for your music, you wouldn't be doing that. Exactly. You I wouldn't be it. doing it. You'll be so do you think there's a hidden ag hidden agenda behind what he does for us to uh, influence like uh, Boosie was on The Breakfast Club and he was like, uh you know, that they're trying to influence our children through these different avenues as far as entertainment goes. I have said this consistently since I, this has always been, it not, it's not today. Uh, I was telling, I've told this story many times that um, in prison, that uh, the um, Ramsey unit, when I was going to get my, um, you know, get my degree in business management, associate's degree, they got, um, they got, through Alvin Community College. Shout out Alvin Community College. Okay. Um, they also had a bachelor and master's program through U of H. And uh, you get your master's in, uh, what is it? Liberal arts, mm -hmm. right? And in liberal arts, a liberal arts degree, the program, you read in a lot of the world's greatest literature, right? The highest form of art of literature of as said by as put out there by Europeans is homosexual act is homo exactly. so as they done got off into what's happening over here in a, in America the higher you want to go in the arts whether it be media is an art as well uh, music is an art um, film is an art uh, actual paintings the higher you want to go, writing, the higher you want to go, those themes are the ones that's the most coveted and those are the ones that the most resources flow to. Mm -hmm. it, it's been that way. Okay. So when when you have the prince, princes of the world, mm -hmm. Michael Jackson's of the world, to the little Nas X's of the world, the higher and the most attention is paid and there's more money pressed into those um, embodiments and characters, individuals that present themselves, men, in particular black men, who's the symbol of strength and masculinity and all that, um, in, the, in that kind of a, in that mode, that's compelling. That's something to look at. Juxtapose that next to the fact that uh, Tom Cruise never had to do that. Jason Statham never, Liam Neeson, Steven Seagal, their actors and, and people in there. Now they've got rock stars that have, you know, towed the line between, you know, looking male or looking female or whatever. But for the most part, they don't have to do and it. And you have some actors who actually, you know, dressed up like Martin Lawrence. Now that's black. He's you know, talking about the yeah, white yeah. But, but constituents. Let's let's go away from let's go away from our comedians, which they've done like that forever. Mm -hmm. What about our sports athletes like Russell Wilson? Exactly. Or Russell Westbrook mm -hmm. was just wearing and a dress. dress. Yes, yeah. And, and people about. are like, but guess what? There is a long history in the NBA of people from Charles Barkley to Larry Johnson mm -hmm. uh, to uh, Ch uh, Shaq. Even LeBron James has worn, uh, uh, you know, dress, you know, like flow. But whenever you go to other countries other than the United States, a lot of those places is accepted. You know, all of that was accepted in Europe way longer than before it even the got here. The acceptance of it is cool, but what is the allure 
with heterosexual black men being perceived in a, as women. Why is that? Like, why Why does the most... Charles Barkley was a vicious basketball player. Mm -hmm. So was Shaq. So was Larry Johnson. So is Russell Wilson. So is LeBron James. Why do, why do we have to have our strongest, most masculine, influential, our greatest players... Why do they have to be seen like what's, that? What's the guy with uh, uh, Gabrielle Union's husband? He's um, his son, Dwayne Wade. Wade. Dwayne Wade. Dwayne his son, Wade's son. He, he's embracing that whole gamut from a twelve-year-old standard. So yeah, but just, but a twelve-year-old little girl can't consent to have sex with anyone. But if you think about it, before that even happened and everybody started coming out about that, I remember articles. I think it was um, that came out about. Little kids should choose whatever they want to play with. If a little boy wanted to play with a doll, he should be able to play with a doll. And it was a white woman who came out with that about her son before all of this other stuff well, came. Alicia You're Keys. talking about somebody that'll eat a booger. This yeah. is what kids do. But Alicia mm -hmm. You're talking about a, a, a kid who will eat a sugar sandwich. Yeah, but you this I should, I'm supposed to listen to you. They were yeah. just saying it's the freedom. Th them uh, having come on, the Alicia freedom Keys to say her. Her son was uh, painting his fingernails. wanted to paint his fingernails, and she was like, he said, I would do it, but everybody will be looking at me different. And, and she said, the nerve of everybody uh, judging her son, and why would, why would they even, you know, why, why would he have to feel that way? It's like she was ranting about the fact. This was a few years back. Yeah, I remember. And it just tripped me out how, you know, first thing I thought was, where is uh, – was uh Swiss Beats? Where's Where's the dad at when he's doing this? Is he Is, is he, he there to be able too? to yeah talk to him and show him why you know how men respond versus how his wife responds? I, I was kind of thrown by that when I first you know all of these themes and think these topics that we're discussing. These are recurring topics in the Crown series. Okay, real life. This is is always because this is. I'm being it's I'm reality. Yeah, the media and I'm being influenced. I'm seeing this stuff. I'm I'm like, damn, these these people is like, bro, like I, I ain't gonna lie, I was thrown off by Russell Westbrook, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Russ I understand like leaning that way in fact, but Russell Westbrook is like the epitome of like black masculinity though he has worn he's had some fashion a uh, hell of a fashion choice just uh, the other day I was looking at the res the responses uh under the the picture po the comments mm -hmm. under mm -hmm. his post and his wife is on there she she put the hearts or whatnot and uh it's it's all of these people very disappointed in the fact that that you you know your her it's and it in some but people he will gain more fans too from another sector of people who agree with that opportunities I think right and that's why people do it they are doing it because they know they'll lose some fans but they're gonna gain way more but bear with me on this thought that I have during this whole conversation mm -hmm. because I always know that when we deal with things you have to look at the bigger picture okay there are ulterior motives from because when I think about the government. I think about social media because that's where everybody putting these images out on social media for all of us to comment on. When we put certain things, I see people being blocked on YouTube, mm -hmm. on um, on Instagram, Facebook, all of that Minister for different Farrakhan. things. Okay, for different things. For sure. But for these things that they're putting out, nobody's blocking them for these things. Yes, people kind of what are. what you was alluding to a while ago. Yes, people are commenting in <clears throat> all different ways, but Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, all of that, as much as we have freedom of speech, we really don't where social media is concerned because that was the case. They wouldn't block anybody, so to say. But what I'm saying, when I, when I say that, is it like go back to Nas X with him showing that pregnancy and whatever because he's opening up that discussion. It, do you think it's a, a case where scientists may sometime down the line have try to figure out how to do they've already things. had a, a male carry someone who it was a female i'm pretty sure we could google it there was a female who became a male mm -hmm. uh through surgery mm -hmm. but still retained like eggs or whatever and carried a child so that's a female having a kid that's not really uh, like a to me right. you born a male yeah 
and uh, being yeah. able to carry a child, whatever, well, they got, which is they, not they the sick scientists. Made. They they the science is, is but sick what to, I'm saying is that by putting it out into social media and mm-hmm. have all of these images and yes, people talking about it, right? It become a discussion where I'm not saying that tomorrow it's gonna happen, but 20, 30 years down, it it be such where people are more accepting to it because even before they already, people came out of the closet, mm-hmm. it came on. TV, see one person, you know, two men kissing. At first, you saw two females kissing. Then eventually, later on, which is saw, why I don't watch shows. But like, I don't. I've but not, it gradually came out, and now yeah. it's everywhere. Every show. But what I'm saying is that mm-hmm. this now it's a gimmick to have people thinking about certain things, and you're gonna start seeing it probably a lot more over the period of time, mm-hmm. and then eventually something might come out later on. I'm just looking at the bigger picture, yeah. as in they're thinking, you know, how to implement certain things in the society. I believe that they've already figured out that it's co- it's cool to do it. We, we at our, as a society, we at our weakest that we've, as this typically, the way it is now, for those that read the Bible and stuff like that, the way that it is right now is what always was a precursor to that being the end. And, you know, so this, this, we just in a state right now to where me, it just looks bad. Let me ask you this. When uh, Boosie was on Breakfast Club, mm-hmm. they had a whole, uh, I don't know if you've seen that episode here I recently. Did. But they had a whole, uh, uh, this, uh, I guess, I don't know who that was that they brought on the show I with. I can't him, remember. But it was a, it was name. a, it was a guy, a gay, gay, a gay guy, I guess, dressed like, like a, a woman. Trans, trans, yeah, gender. Yeah, trans, trans, gender. And they, and they said her, she was there. They knew Boosie was coming. Mm-hmm. Do you think this was a, a setup, set a plot? Because mm-hmm. they was definitely aggressive at him toward uh, the, the LGBTQ. Um, what do you think about that? And do you feel like, uh, you know, when it comes to the South, I'll be thinking about this, just my thought, mm. um, how they re- reflect the people down here when they when they deal with them. I, I look at the Breakfast Club and I, I'll be like, the music is biased. I'll be tripping off the fact of the platinum artists. Is how the, the South has always been distinguished different than the East Coast. I'm telling you. Yeah. When I look at it, I, I can't balance off of what I see people uh, uh, clinging to on the East Coast. I'm being mm-hmm. real. Like the the Hot 9 Sevens, the uh, all of these different platforms, I don't look at them as a scale for you and I. When when I think about uh, Lil Flip and going platinum and mm-hmm. not even having to have the resources, P- Pimp C and them, the Underground Kings, we having our own lane. Atlanta doing what they're doing, but they kind of they kind of cling to them too. But being in the deep south, <laughs> I'm being real. I, I like that what you did right there. Yeah. <laughs> but, I like I saw that. I saw that slug. I'm I'm a master at spotting where the but, darts is going. Yeah, yeah but I being, saw you do that. But being in the deep south, you yeah. know, it's a difference, isn't it? I'm being honest. Um. Here's the thing that, that and I do I, want to talk about the Boosie thing too. I just yeah. went there because my well, mind well, went there. Well, with with us in the South, the thing is, we have the fan base to get off the shit that we say. They would like you to believe that their way of thinking is the norm for everybody. But then you got these Southern ex politicians. In hip hop, we are politicians. So um, when you see that there is uh, an audience for a ARD, uh, a Pimp C, or or whoever, what it shows them and what it demonstrates to them is, no matter how much you force that agenda, there is still a, an opposing side to that. And though y'all have the biggest megaphones and and, and bull horns you still ain't the the majority. Yeah. You're not the majority. It's liberal left leaning ideology that you want to uh put it out there as if everybody thinks like that. But the majority of people don't think like okay. that. The the uh if you look at industries of sport uh where there is men that that is not an accepted thing. Uh, homosexuality it's it's perceived as a weakness in men simple mm. so you, why do you think they, they they like the Charlemagnes and the and the way they was doing mm-hmm. Boosie why going back to that why do you think they was pushing so hard Sol- to try to uh, push Charlemagne and them check it, it is is first of all you got to look at Boosie and and you would say 
on this particular subject that we're talking about, you know, homophobia, the, the shit that they try to term it as, you're looking at an artist that is, we're wanting to allow you to come to this. You can come to this platform and, and promote whatever it is you want to promote. This is the biggest platform. Mm -hmm. But we, in exchange, need people to watch the interview as well. So we're going to throw this at you, which is the most polarizing topic okay. that we can do. I think uh, one of the misunderstandings about it, in my mind, is that when people say, they done him like that, and you will, yeah, like like, like, it's, it's just, it's the same as if you had a guy shot yesterday. Okay. And you was up in there wrapped up. Man, the majority of this interview finna be about that bullet. Man. That's right. That's right. Yeah, you know. But and he this, said he felt like he was being ganged on because he was. he was the only one with that point of view compared mm -hmm. to everybody else. They could have even brought on another person to say, okay, let me even, you know, the playing field. Yeah. You know, but they the, didn't. The, the thing is, he is the, to his credit, the strongest example of a heterosexual thinking person in hip hop, bold enough to say what he really thinks, thinks. about that. You, you so think, nobody, you, you think nobody Jay Z don't else, feel like? I'm pretty sure it's a lot of people. No, that, but nobody else exactly is bold like enough to, to say. Speak on it. So it's like in that way, we're very happy to engage you, this is exciting for us because nobody else is going to do it. Anybody else is going to get up here and be politically correct. Right. So there's going to be an excitement for shooting this stuff at you. You know, who else going to do it? This We're here every single day, four or five hours a day doing our radio show. I'm pre a lot of this shit is ho-hum, you know. You, we got somebody here today who's got a conviction. This is why I try to tell people that Convictions is real, man. Mm -hmm. Have some so that you can be interesting. I, I don't budge from the way I see things. I, I was going to ask you, do you think that, um, what, well, how would that have been if that would have been Al D being interviewed at Breakfast the, Club? Similar, but with better, uh, articulated better. You mm -hmm, know? Mm -hmm. he, uh, the problem with, with, with Boosie is that, though he, ha shout out to Boosie, by the way, but he's got this great, uh, or he has this way of seeing this, but he doesn't have the language to communicate the complexities of why that is such a, a heinous thing right there. That shit ain't cool. It's not cool to be... Now, for some, they would say that, um, you know, like, that's not the only thing that's not cool. It's also not cool to be showing uh, men killing each other and, and, and all of this. I would say you're right about all of it. And just like you're right about all of that, I'm right he's about right about this. this. Mm -hmm. Simple. It's simple. So I, I don't like when they try to flip something and and make it as if um, now because I done flipped it and because, you know, I'm showing you something that you're uh, wrong on. So basically, like, don't worry about this wrong that I'm doing over here. No man, so if it's wrong, it's wrong. 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 Yeah, exactly. it's wrong, it's so, wrong. So I shouldn't be doing this. Let me, shit. let me ask you. So when um, what what? Do you have any daughters? I have one stepdaughter. So yeah. if your daughter was marrying a woman, mm -hmm. like they asked Boosie, yeah, would you go and give your daughter away to another woman? No. No. And and I, that was I, a question that 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 I, I believe it was uh. Angela Yee probably that yeah. asked him that question. She was she was very adamant and she was saying that he said no he wouldn't, but then she said, No, you would, you would, you would. He he, he went on to say, Boosie went on to say that um he looks at homosexuality between females as girls having fun and you know, yeah. doing this type of shit. Um and he doesn't think that that should go any further than that. Yeah, equate to marriage. Right. So he wouldn't, so if his daughter but was... But you can't condone both. You can't condone that and then don't want to condone that. You have to condone both. Exactly. But then at the same time, I it, stress goes back this. To, it goes back to... I stress this. I don't want to see no female... Bro, all of that shit look nasty to me. 
But it goes <laughs> back to what they show us as being accepted because remember when they started showing on TV, they first showed two girls kissing. They didn't will, show the two guys kissing yeah. at first when they're trying to introduce all of this to society. Yes, when I say to society, it, it's been going on forever. Blame, right? Don't blame get me rap wrong. for this. You got to blame rap for a lot of the things that I remember when things were like new things that people rapped about. Subject matter, new, new thing, new ideas. It was cool to have two girls. It was not only was it cool to have two girls. It was cool to have a girl that will go get another girl for you. Right. What? It's that's ill in a song. Right. In real life, these practices don't end when the beat ends. In real life, it's some real powerful, heavy, earth-shattering consequences to a lot of these ways of life that people was rapping about. I look at this dude Ti with what he's going through. Right now, mm -hmm. I'm gonna tell you something. Cause he won that case. They just dropped the case. They just dropped that case. How many cases did he have? He had one case. I don't know if it was one, but it's caught the way that the the it was I've one been main case it. that came up. Okay, now. let's it, let's say that. However, it went on the mm -hmm. dropping the case. Prayers for his family. We we don't want to see nobody in jail and then like that. And plus, I believe it was just like a lawsuit anyway. Right. It wasn't like police type shit. Yeah. So here's the here's the thing though. Getting your woman, your your wife, and participating in these things with your wife. There is a way, and I, this is this right here. If these be my last words, these are some good ones to have. <laughs> there is a way that you can live your life that makes your family look beautiful. A energy and a glow can be around y'all, like y'all. There's a way that you live. You're like, y'all got a great spirit. Take pictures together. That's a beautiful couple. They moving around. Oh, this is E. It's Miss Jermaine. You know, um, that's a way that you can be when you live in your life in a certain manner. I'm just going to tell you straight up. T.I. and his wife look so unattractive. They look devoid of, of, of a powerful energy. They look... He, he's not seeing that the way that he has been living out his life is the real reason why the power he's he's been very tense frustrated and agitated since I've been home you know his it, he say things and they wrong it come off wrong even when he's saying something that is it, like hey he's right but for some reason when you say it, it ain't he the way doesn't. How he says it. He's not even. He's thinking that all of y'all is the reason why. Man, y'all just. Woo, I know it ain't. You know. Woo. You don't even see what it is. What it really is is you need to go within yourself and correct. Just come clean, man. I shouldn't have my wife out here eating no bitch pussy, man. I shouldn't have my wife out here going out. This, this, that, that doesn't honor her. That's not something that, that, but instead of just being humble and open and vulnerable, he falls back on what me and we, what we do in our spare time and what we do. Man, that that's... that's. And let me add something quickly to what mm -hmm. you just said, um, because I know some people would say, well, um, him having his wife out here, maybe she want to do that. Maybe it's on her, but then at the same time, what I want to interject into that is the fact that he's the head of the household. I'm just, I'm so glad it's that always you said it and on him. Yeah, you yeah, understand what I mean, from you. right? Yeah. So that I wanted to put she's that out there. She's supposed to be a she's a reflection of him, mm -hmm. of him. So when you that's I'm very I'm very careful in that way in my own household about, uh, and I'm not saying that I'm doing something outside of my household that I wouldn't want to be seen on the inside because I don't believe you can hide nothing from them. You can't mm -hmm. hide nothing. It's going to be made clear. This world here is going to, you're going to be revealed here for whatever you really are, which is why you just stay the course. So when, when I'm looking at uh, my own house and my different, the best, when you want your kids to do what it is that you want them to do, man, it's easy for them to get on track. If you was, ne if you was always on track, Yeah, you know, so, um, or if you have that kind of uh, way about you where they know that you're not doing nothing, you know that that would bring dishonor and shame to your to your household or whatever. But but we got guys um, who are in in influential positions, powerful positions that 
once they have achieved a certain amount of notoriety, the ambition and the hunger for more opens up doors for them to do have to do things in order to take that next step. Next level, yeah, go to the next level. And that's when or, or engaging it. When you're talking about, man, I'm gonna tell you, and this it goes deep when you start wondering why certain people didn't win Grammys for albums and shit that you because was like. They didn't Agree you to are, do certain things. Not so much, not that you didn't agree. Not not like somebody asking you and you said no. You ain't coming around. You ain't you ain't mingling with us on this level. Right. This this you know you you got to come that over crowd. here. You know mm -hmm. into what we we got going on. You know posthumously we can give you an award. So we know you ain't gonna open your mouth until you know after you're dead. We can give you certain kind of awards. But while you here. And you ain't no Tupac. You think finna win a Grammy and understand what we got going? You, I have a question you know. about the. Well, let me, let me, um, I don't, don't want to pass about pass the, what what because I wanted to okay just uh, on the Ti deal and I'm not trying to save him, but I am saying that with the family and the things that he got going, these could be wake up calls to to evolve him into doing something greater and better mm. down the line. So as long as I, you alive, you got a chance. Correct. That's but I will I, say this: he done had quite a few wake up calls. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and, um, and and a lot of this, what it takes to. I'm gonna give you another example on depends his. Depends on the people around him as well who can, you know. But it's more on him. It's an inner spiritual thing, and the reason I say that is because you he's had when, time to sit down, mm -hmm. and he's well, had not no, a lot of time. That's not what, a lot, but he had some time to sit down and think about the things that's going on, uh, and I don't know how he used that time. Uh, he wasn't sitting down really, and I'm gonna tell you this: with a lot of the things that he did, I'm gonna tell man when you when you compromise your morals and principles. The best thing you can do, own up to it. When he was saying that, y'all trying to say that I ratted him, you know, because we all from the hood and, and we done seen many people in his situation as far as like getting caught with, with way less guns than him and things like this, um, receive the mandatory sentences that are associated with those charges. By the fact that he did not, like he received leniency from the, um, the the prosecutor, the prosecution side, seek leniency from the federal judge who has mandates to go by. We're asking for a departure from your regular. This doesn't happen. So when the things that he involved, I'm not saying that he, I'm saying like from that point right there to getting off into doing Crime Stopper videos and stuff like that. And then the things that he said as a result of like, I'm doing these, I'm doing, yeah, I did this. What am I supposed to do? Take 20 years? Or woo -woo. This is, is, is back to what I be trying to tell people about this G shit. G shit is, is stupidity. Willing stupidity. If you're not willing, hell yeah, I'm not taking no, I'm not finna stand up there and let y'all put no clown nose on me. And, and make me sit up here and do a crime stop a video because I am a gangster. I can't do that. I'm not allowed to do that. He can't just say that, hey, I did that. Mm -hmm. Or or uh they when when faced with a situation like that, I decided to become a family man, you mm -hmm. know, mm -hmm. or whatever. But when I look at people like them misrepresenting uh certain aspects of what it takes to be that thing that they want to portray, it just it just made me feel like it, it made me feel not good for them. And then I watch what happens to them after that. I watch wh when somebody puts themselves in a position like that, and then they compromise. Then I, I watch. I, I just watch it play itself out, and ask them play itself out all the way to this. One of the hardest things in the world, man, is to. Uh, uh, compromise your principles, compromise your morals and what you stood on and then have to live in the reality that you created after that without just saying, hey man, I shouldn't have done that.